This is an exciting moment for India. It's an exciting moment for the globe. Whenever science, technology, and innovation makes possible amazing things, which is beyond the imagination sometimes, that's what makes it so special. Science, technology, and innovation makes possible amazing discoveries and inventions that makes possible societal and economic prosperity. But in this case, it makes possible exploration of the universe. And so very excited for the moment and wishing the very best and all the good luck for this mission. Now, Vikram lander, when it lands, it is landing near this, nearer the south pole of the moon. Uh, and one of India's satellites found the presence of water molecules, which was an Indo-US work. So by exploring nearer the South Pole, will it help? No, I think it is very, very helpful because you talked about the finding water molecules. What it does is it shows potential for life as life on Earth. And more importantly, what you do with water is you get hydrogen as a fuel. So using moon as a stop to go to other places, to explore Mars and beyond, this is very, very helpful. So locating these kinds of precious resources is exceedingly important in exploration, in space exploration. So this is a very special moment, as I said earlier, in this lander being able to find things like that and also validate what others have found, including the United States. ISRO and NASA Inc., the Artemis Accords. How does Artemis Accords help India? How does it help USA? How does it help the world? It's a great question. I mean, if you look at the amazing visit, the state visit of Prime Minister Modi and President Biden meeting together, President Biden is a hu huge advocate for science, technology, and innovation, particularly making possible opportunities for everyone in the United States. And so is Prime Minister Modi, using science, technology, and innovation for progress. So there's a lot of commonality and excitement. And therefore, the two coming together really says a lot about how these two nations, large democracies, can work together for the benefit of humanity and for global good. Now, talking about Artemis Accords is one manifestation of such thinking. How might United States and India work together through the Artemis Accords and other frameworks so that we might then work together on such grand challenge uh, experiments and giant challenge opportunities to be able to create real impact? Real impact in core science technology, but also real impact for the benefit of humanity. So do you think it's a good idea to revisit the moon and have a permanent habitation, uh, which is what the Artemis program is expecting to do very soon? Absolutely. There's no question about that because we are always, as humans, fundamentally we are explorers. You know, right from when you're a kid, you are crawling and exploring, touching objects and so on. We are fundamentally explorers. And therefore, this exploration journey never stops. It should never stop. That's what makes us invent amazing things, make amazing discoveries, make great things possible. Clearly, therefore, going to the moon and then going beyond moon to Mars are all things as humans. That's who we are. That's our DNA. And therefore, it's a great thing.